exactly 9.10 we will formally start our webinar. So to those na are already in kindly share the link to your classmates. Thank you.
Right, we will start our webinar with a prayer and the national anthem.
Right, so good morning everyone. Hi. Okay, before I formally start, let me first introduce to you. Um, I'm Vanessa Kabornay, your job placement officer from CPU and your uh, speaker for today. So the main purpose of this web a webinar is to educate what lies ahead after you graduate and I am here as your guide and your advisors to help you explore better uh, better options in shaping your future career. All right, set. But before that, um, before we go through to the main topic, uh, let me first introduce to you the department where where I belong, in which in the near future na mag-work na mo, you can always go to our office to assist you if ever you're looking for a job. So we, uh, as mentioned, uh, we do not accommodate only students, but also as a kinsai, the public. So you're always welcome.
All right, so welcome to PESO orientation. So what is PESO? When you first hear, uh, hear or see the word PESO, it's not just literally a PESO and money, no? But PESO simply means as Public Employment Service Office. So we connect students, graduates, and job seekers to employers. So what are the services uh, we offer? So PESO is a one-stop center established to provide employment information. So we provide comprehensive job details to students and we also overlook potential employers where the students qualifies. Um, okay. Okay, then PESO assess dolly clients pursuant to ra8759 otherwise known as the peso act of 1999 so it is an act institutionalizing a national facilitation by establishing a public employment services office in every provinces and areas throughout the country so you can find um, peso to any public uh, establishment or any establishment who provide uh, public services, like for example, you can find PESO at City Hall or other local uh, schools. So what are the support services we offer? So first, we address pre-employment and employment needs of students and alumni. So we assess student and our fresh grads um, to look for a um, for a job where they qualify. So as a starter, we help them para dili kayo sila mag, uh, so that they won't have a hard time when they already go out to the industry world. Next, we address on-the-job training needs of the graduating students. So in a college ninyo, um, there will be an OJT. And then for that, PESO will help you kana mo mo dito sa office kana if ever maglook mo asa mo maka training we provide you companies nga naglook og mga nangita og mga OJT so it will be easier for you if you go to our office ever in the future next, next to strengthen, to strengthen the, 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 the academy so and serve and as the federal government and send parties for the press and press and programs of government of government of aid other government government agencies agencies and press in the area in the area so we so provide, we provide employment, employment information for jobs to job seekers so we refer so individuals, we individuals who are potential, who are potential for the employment in the area, area where you find or fits fits all right all right Okay, but okay, before, but before that, that, I'd like to request, like request kindly check, check if your mic is unmute. I mute, rather. So we won't have any uh, unnecessary sounds. Okay, so thank you. Okay, um, next, what are the objectives of PESO? So what are our objectives? So we ensure prompt timely and efficient delivery of employment services promotion of information on the other dolly programs so aside from the main function of peso it also promotes other informa information which dolly offers to provide our client different options so such as giving strategies to improve well-being of workers in different fields Next, um, net network with other PESOs within the region on employment for job exchange purposes. So we connect to different offices within different regions for the availability of any job vacancies and help them promote it to the clients. Like, um, for example, uh, Manila, Manila PESO is looking for the specific um, position and then they will reach out to Cebu Peso and then we the Cebu Peso will help them look for a suitable applicant for that position so who are the Peso clients who are our clients so aside from students and alumni we also accommodate a job any public job seekers employers out of school youth, so these are um, youth who are already going to stop school for a while and then look of part time job. 
migratory workers, those individuals who transfer to another place to, to look for a better opportunity, planners, researchers, uh, labor market information users, persons with disabilities, returning overseas Filip Filipino workers, so those OFW nga bago lang ibalik, and then magita o new start, what job man ilahang kwaon there is a Philippines and then displaced workers so these are individuals can leave na sila previous job okay so what are the programs implemented by CTU PESO so the core service that we offer referral and placement labor market information career guidance and employment coaching Okay, and referral and placement. So we look uh, for, um, so we answer different emails from different companies na nag seek or nag reach out sa amo and that, that, that helps la to look for this applicants. Okay, they are in need of this. And then because of that, um, there are various um, interview or interview process that we would do for that and then look for suitable applicant for that specific position. We also look if there are companies who are interested to conduct a local or special recruitment activity inside a school and help preparation for job fair and keeps data internship program like mga more on MOA and such so mga contract within the uh, employers. Okay, job fair. So job fair is an event attended by employers and job applicants in hope of finding employees and jobs. So in here, this is what we usually see you know, in the public. You know, uh, different companies who gather together and then uh, ay mga lines, they, ha, uh, ang mga booths. Na, na kay, they want to apply to that company. So ingana lang na siya ang job fair. Next, in campus recruitment, or the in campus recruitment or the local recruitment activity program allows employers the opportunity to hold presentation sessions and conduct job interviews inside the CTU. So, in here, the, the employers will tap us, na they will mag help to, for this position. So, we look for applicants for them and then kami maoy mo interview mo screen mo test sa applicant and then if that applicant passed mo na mo ang i-forward dito sa ilang company out campus recruitment so sending applicants to companies that needs manpower for testing or screening or job interview so as mentioned um, they they reach to us if they are in need for this position, and then we also we also source out for them uh, suitable applicants. And then the moment nga makita ni nga og individual who are suitable for that position, we send them to the to the company, and then ato na dito ang uh, employment process like ato na sila interview hon, mag testing and then a decision set if ever you're hired or not. Okay, special recruitment activity. So this is an overseas recruitment activity by private agencies conducted inside the university or campus, the university campus. So if ever you will go to CPU PESO, so this is what the referral and placement looks like. So you will be familiar, familiar if ever you will visit there. All right. Going on, special program for employment of students. So this is a program to help the poor but deserving students pursue their education by encouraging their employment during summer or other Christmas vacation and providing income, finance to subsidize their studies. Okay, so with this program, it provides our dear students the chances to pursue their studies through part-time jobs that are offered by the government and other private sectors. They'll be able to earn enough to support their needs with their education. So, kanang, this is the usual uh, kanang mag summer vacation. 
no? Naam tayo sa summer vacation and then mangita mo og part-time job. So you can always go to Peso if ever mangita mo part-time job. Okay. If ever naam ni open sa City Hall if mag part-time mo or other private sectors nga amo ang partner nga nangita po og mga part-timers. Skills enhancement and educational development for students. So, a joint project of Jollibee Foods Corporation and the Department of Labor and Employment under the Youth Education, Youth Employability Program. So, in here, it's a partnership between public and private corporation that helps our youth being employed at the same time attend school so they can finish their studies and provide better option for their career. So this partnership has been known in the most part of the country since it was able to help a lot of youth from years back to the present. So in here, only mga individuals, nga mga working students. So if they mga working student tiha or planning a mga working student in college ninyo, you can always go to PESO. Okay, we have um, partners, man, private sectors partners, na who are also looking for that. Nga dili kayo, an full time na uh, job ng kaya Okay, tulay tulong alay sa taong may kapansanan. So creating an interagency committee on employment promotion, protection and rehabilitation of persons with disabilities. So, this program provides hope for the disabled person by give, giving them the chance to be employed on a certain field where they are capable of and at the same time be protected from the means of the society. So, it also includes rehabilitation that will help them develop and nurture their skill which could be very useful people in the society. So yes, youth entrepreneurship supports so a project under the Working Youth Center program with the aim of putting the youth once again at the center of development. So here is the special program section at CTU PESO. So you can always look for Miss Donna Bell. All right, uh, labor market information. So labor market information, it's more on documentation in our sides that we will um, uh, submit to Dolly if we are um, producing, uh, producing a good quality employability uh, reports to them. It means that if we are really producing good students or good individuals na sa industry, Okay, so this is the labor market information at CPU. And lastly, career guidance and employment coaching. So just like what I'm doing now to you, dear students. So in career guidance, we offer services to grade 10 or junior high, junior high school. We also conduct to them PESO orientation and career pathing coaching, which will be discussed later on. We also offer employment coaching to the college graduating students. So we conduct PESO orientation to them, job search seminar, anti-illegal recruitment because they have to be informed because it's really a trend now. Maskam, mga illegal recruiter. So daghanan ng maskam. Then what is the proper age range na maka-work na ang, ang sa katao, and then labor education for graduate students, pre-employment orientation seminar, pre-departure orientation seminar. So this is the career guidance employment coaching section in at CPU. So if ever mas ag mo sa mong department. Okay. Going on, follow-up section. So in follow-up section, we trace graduates for employability reports to the university, such as any physical reports, operation. So it is um, used also for world ranking and for accredit accreditation sa school. So mangita mi sa katong mga graduates na mo, and then we send them for, ana, that's our, how our form look like. Okay. So 
So this is the follow-up section at CPU department. All right, uh, philjob.net. So philjob.net, an inter-based job and applicant matching system which aims to fast-track job seekers. Uh, search for jobs and employers search for manpower. So philjob.net is very convenient and accessible kayo if ever you are looking for a job. So philjob.net is like kind of very famous now like the job street, indeed, a LinkedIn or any kind. So easy lang juga ini. You can browse there on sa position na imong gipangita and then Nita ka dito and then you click on sa imong ganahan and then send ka sa imong credentials. So, ilan na siya ka convenient or accessible. So, this is the fieldjob.net website looks like. Okay, so how to avail of the CTU PESO services? So, for employment seekers, so as mentioned, Everyone is welcome here. So we are like the HR of Dole sa public. So if ever in your family, relatives, and friends is looking for a job and then they have no idea as a, as a mangita, as a starter, you can go to our department and then help them look for a job or a position that they are looking for. So... Report personally to CTU PESO or College of Education Academic Building for registration and employment. So for employers, but, um, they will also go to our department and then submit to us and say available position or individuals they're looking for. And then for research, planners, and labor market information user, they really inquire personally and secure available materials. So they really go to our department and um okay so kindly screenshot if ever no okay so dilik mo magisod pohon na lang idea asa may pangitaon okay so this is our peso department Easy lang yung kinis siya na ni inigsodin yung sa main entrance mo right then mo then mga twenty steps peso na nasa okay I think that's it now for the peso orientation I hope you learn something about it and then now let's go on to our main topic or discussion the career guidance webinar so as a reminder no uh, later on i will be sending the attendance form and evaluation so i am leave down sa webinar okay you have to fill this up submit po sa inyo ang mga advisor and mo give cook certificates for you so it will also serve as my basis uh, yung certificate so before that, uh, do you have any question regarding the PESO department? Hello? Alam is kung dili sila taga CTO po, di sila makaanha diha sa... Yes! Yes, sir. Everyone is welcome in our department. Kasi, thank you, miss. Okay. All right, so welcome to Career Guidance Webinar 2021. So before I start, I would like to ask you this question. Um, how do you see yourself 10 years from now? So I'd like to ask any volunteers to share. So may na picture out the new sa inyo hang self 10 years from now. Okay, anyone? Okay. Any volunteers? No, this is very a very good time uh, mo talk mo and share okay? so that you would have an idea and then a guide mo in the future. Okay? Anyone would like to volunteer to share? 
I guess, wala mo share. So, ako na lang mo share. Maulaw sila. <laughs> okay. So, ako na lang mo share. Okay. So, katong high school pa ko, or napako sa inyong age, I I can, I will always tell myself na, na 10 years from now, I will become a psychologist, a, a counselor. No, those are the pictures I can see to myself. So, as of now, dapat na na mo'y anong image unsa mo in the future so na ana mo eh, naka set na mo og goal for yourself no that diha mo pa dong napas okay so some of you may say that you will become a doctor a teacher a best a businessman an engineer an architect and others no it's okay so how to have a successful career so first you must have a vision so a vision is like how do you orient yourself on ways to execute your plans no next you must have goals so goals is something you really look into or something you want to achieve and then education so like what our elders always claim it is the key to success although we see some you no know, who excel at some point of their career without that but we still believe that education would open more opportunities, more and greater opportunities. So as of now, medyo some of you may not appreciate it sa inyohang gibuhat ron, but in the future, just do well now and then it will kan mo bunga rana in the future. Di haram mo makaingon nga. May ragide eh, nagtarong ko sa mong skwila sa una kayo. Wala na ko naglisod ron nga. Uwan na educate na nag work na ko okay values so values is the way how we carry ourselves and how we interact with others so sometimes we are defined with the values we have next skills is one of the factor that we need to develop so it's the heart and soul of our career because it keeps us going to what we do best and then lastly interest the dreams that we have in life is our interest. So it serves as fuel well for us to keep on achieving for greater pastures. Okay, career guidance. So what is career guidance? So career guidance features uh, in-demand jobs next five, next five to ten years. So we introduce to you uh, positions or jobs nga in need there is at one country. No, describes the basic requirements of job, skills and competencies, attribute, characteristics, salary, com or compensation, uh, prospect for career adv advancement. So you can always ask to us if you are, if you want to know more information regarding the position or profession that interests you. Like, ma'am, what's the qualification needed para ma doctor ko like, like for example kumano ninyo aim senior high mag college mo kana pre med they call pre med ko mo mga any sciences courses and then after that mo take up mo medical school and then wala siya and then mangutan sa mo ma'am pila may sweldo sa doctor okay so we provide it to you pod pila ila mga sweldo and then unsay nature sa job nila Okay. Another question. I hope na I'm a volunteer, no? <laughs> so if you wish to make this world a better place, how will you contribute through your career objectives? So it is something uh ko an unsa may career na akong kuhaon para maka help ko o people or maka help ko sa society or makahatag kog impact sa tao. Anyone would like to share again? <laughs> Hello, so much. I would like to encourage everybody, my student, to answer the question. Can you open a question sa HR? Mm, yeah. Practice, practice, lang takaran kay para maana damo ba ini interview niya sa HR? Makabaw na mo sa ang pagtubag. 
Yes, this is the basic questions for the answer HR. I'm sorry, makita niyo sa yourself five years from now. I'm sorry, inyo hang purpose or goal or yan na. No. So, I will share. Basi maula pa mo. Yeah, it's okay. So, na shy type niya to mga students karon, but. However, ako may example na pag ko. <laughs> so, before no, I I really like to become a psychologist. Pogi na ako before kay I can see the realities here nga they are wala kayo gyata gag attention and then kunong gamayra ang specialist for that aspect. So, moto, moto ko na dream sa so, una. So, yun na, example. Okay, so I hope ako hara. Okay, so here are the tips that I could give to you in choosing your career. So, first, get to know yourself. So, identify your goals and interests. You will only find a worthwhile career if you truly know what you're looking for in the first place. And take time to think about what you like to do and dream and imagine ideal careers. So, explore yourself to different kanang aspects no kanang so you you will feed your mind more and gain more wisdom or ideas to what kind of career nga inyong ganahan gyud and then yeah as mentioned explore all your options so as of now i hope na nanamoy kanang career nga gina aim what you want to be no nga kanang ganahan gyud ninyo and then next, ask this to yourself, no? And go on, choosing your career. Ask this, what do I like doing? What are the activities I don't like? So, unsa may ako mga ganang ginabuhat? Unsa may makaboard na ako nga buhat na eh? May nga na gani. So, what are my interests? What values are important to me? What are my talents? Unsa may talents na ako na mahapi ko, I know mahapi ko kung kaniya profession ako ng pilion, no? and the next, what am I good at doing? so it's very important ng gikan ginaninyo ang inyo ang gipili ng profession, kay it will kanang you will be I can assure you that you will be happy with your work, yes, and then you will feel satisfied by doing it. so Dili lang ta mo kuha o course kay just because kay mo na gipili sa inyong barkada <laughs> kay, kay like for example yun yung hang group of group of friends kay nagpili og nursing and then ikaw ganahan kay ka mag uh, business ad so mo to nursing na lang sig ka kay aron kuyog mo so it's a no no and some pod kay mo ay gipapili sa ilang parents no i've known a lot of people nga ing ani nga maoy gipili sa ng parents but at the end they are not happy with their job they are not happy and dito ra gihapon sila ni balik sa ilang ganahan nga profession okay next is work volunteer or otherwise gain some experience so the more you are exposed to the more options will open to you as you search out career so the more you explore the more you feed your uh, knowledge or minds the more you will be knowledgeable with different careers nga in your hang kanang potential nga mga options in your own sa yung pili on so yeah. work experience looks good on some college application and most especially on future job applications and resume so Kani no ang ang kaning kaning naamoy kana exposure nga volunteer mo it is really a plus points as an HR especially if fresh grads mo okay aside from knowledge that you have you also have this um, skills na and ideas so one kinasha so if you're interested in career jur journalism start writing for your school newspaper so if you're interested anang 
kinahan ka mag-write, kinahan ka mag-make og novel, poem, or stories. As of college na mo, mag-college na mo, um, involve yourself sa mga public uh, publication, no? school publication, para in the future, if mag-journalist na mo, dili na mo mag-lisod kay na-practice, na-enhance naman mo maayong katong sa na college pa mo. Yan na, na siya. Okay, so does personality matters? So no, another question, but yes. Yes, your personality should fit your career choice. So knowing your personality will help you understand yourself better and will help you in interacting with others. So ang imuhang piliyon nga profession or career in the future mas fit po sa imuhang personality. Like for example, like, you are a very engaging person. Dali ra kayo ka mo. Inan ka mo halibilo og tao. Dali ka introvert. Uh, it will be discussed later on. So, you you can always say that ang fit nga ko nga fit na ko nga professional, maybe teacher, mag-host ba ko og mga events, something like that, you know, mag-involve ko an. Uh, dili gid ka maglisod pod sa imuhang staff o adjust. Okay, right now, we will um, classify different personality types according to studies. So, so in order for you to have an idea po nga kung ano say, inani day ako ang personality nun ay nadi ko nag-inhibit day kung ano yung personality. Uh, Okay, so under energy, we have extrovert. Extrovert individual, they are outward looking. They seek interaction with other people. So these are the individuals na ganahan kayo o gatherings or involvement sa mga tao. They are, they are very friendly. They are, they are known na very friendly. Bisag-asa na niyong ibutang siya mga group. Okay, di gina siya maglisod o adjust like this siya maghilom-hilom <laughs> mustorya dayon siya new dayon no they're cheerful and also adventurous so contrary to that we have introvert so introvert individual they're inward looking prefer to be by themselves likes working with thoughts ideas and imagination so they are individuals who enjoy kanang sila lang Okay, they think they are more productive if they do things alone. So we can't always say na kadi sila kay mga loner, kadi sila yung mga others. It's just that they they're really good to that. No, they are productive doing things alone. Okay, under information, we have sensors individuals so sensors individuals they are detailed oriented like clear instructions plans timelines enjoys working with data so these are individuals uh, they are fit for a profession mag engineer mag marine mag it and then un under intuitive we have, they are idea-oriented, likes to think big, thinks of theories, and enjoys hands-on experiments. So most likely, these individuals would took up psychology, poli or philosophy. And then under decision-making, we have thinkers. So thinkers use facts and figures in making a decision. Logic and consistency and likes editing others' work. So more likely they took up law, medicine, and such. And under feelers, they are individuals who looks at people and circumstances in decision making. Looks for value in work and likes building teamwork. So more likely they will took up or magganahan is na mag teacher, mag businessman, mag nurse. Ayan. 
Okay. We also have learning style. So, learning style sa din siya, no? Na kita or kamo po na possessed mo ani as a student. As a, unsa may ma uh, classify ni yun ani nga part nga unsa mga pagka-student. <laughs> we have judges. So, judges individual are highly structured, very organized. And we have perceivers prefers unstructured environments and free flowing. So, in short, judges are individuals nga ganahan kay mubuhat og things nga nakaplano git na like 10 a.m. Maghimo na ko sa ko assignment and it 9 kay klasiko and then ayan na. And then ni 11 mag snack sa kong ayan na siya ay organized kay siya nga tao. And then say ang things po. Ayan na. And then perceivers uh, unstructured environment. So they are the one uh, very spontaneous. Ganahan o they're more likely labeled as adventurous uh, individual and happy go lucky lang and free flowing. Go with the flow. <laughs> Say ganah no. Okay, I hope you have you already have an idea sa inyo self on sa personality that you possess. So it's not likely na mao na gidna ang inyo ha. Like, still, these are theories that one classifies people. So, it also gives you an idea, no? Na de ko yung ani, potential de ko o job ni yung ani. Okay. Nara ba? Nara? Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi, ma'am. Nara, ma'am. Ay, naju de ko yung students. Finally, nito talk na gud mo. Okay, ayun mo pag ula-ula, okay. Kani nga time, nga moment, morning the best time nga you could ask para dili na mo maglisod in the future. Okay? Alright, so we will have a quick activity lang. So, I will be, I would like to... Okay, I will be I will be sending a test no sa inyo ha. Magsend ko ug link. So you'll be taking a test. It is called the Holland Code Reasic test. So what is Holland Code Reasic test? So quick overview lang about the test. So uh, Reasic test, a theory of careers and vocational choices that was developed by a psychologist john l holland so the test is named after him so the test measures or classifies six personality type because for him choosing a career that matches your personality will most likely lead to success and satisfaction but before that what is riasic so riasic is just an acronym so ato na ko sa usahon si riasic magila ila tanya okay so, realistic are for realistic. So, realistic individuals likes to work with animals, tools, or machineries. See self as practical, mechanical, and realistic. I for investigative. There are individuals who likes to study and solve math or science problems. Generally, avoids. Leading, selling, persuading people. So, di kaya na nila bet niya yan na. See self as precise, scientific, or intellectual. A for artistic. Individuals likes to do creative activities like art, drama, crafts, dance, music, or creative writing. See self as expressive, original, and independent. So these individuals really express themselves in a very creative way. So mo na magpainting sila, yan na magcomposing music, poem. As for social, likes to do things to help people like. Teaching, nursing, provide or providing informations. See self as helpful, friendly, and trustworthy. So ang fit aning kano kay mga extrovert individual. And then we have E for enterprising, likes to lead and persuade people. See self as energetic, ambitious, and sociable. And then lastly we have C, conventional. 
So individuals is good at working with written record, records and numbers in a systematic way or orderly. See self as orderly and good following set plans. So I hope you have idea what is RIASIC. Okay, tara mag send na ko sa link for a moment. Moment, ha. Asa na to, to. Okay, okay nakita na yung link na ako ang descend. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, that's good. So, mauni siya ang inyong makita sa website. Kanina. Kita na ninyo? Same, Ra? Ingan niyo, Ra, now ang inyong website? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And then, after that, go to the bottom part. Then, i-click niyo ang begin assessment. Then, after you answer everything, please send to our chat box katong the three, three categories you scored high. No, no mga dagko ninyo mga takadagko mag score na nila. All right, so start na ta. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I will be giving uh 10 to 15 minutes to answer the test. Again, if you're already done answering, kindly put 
in our chat box the three categories who scored the most.
right who are still answering Pila pa makabok nag answer para makahinihine tag start Okay Okay, we'll wait for the others. Yes, tolo ka hayas ang ibutang.
Okay, napay nag-answer? Sa ito mga shy type, chat na lang mo. <laughs> okay, mas comfortable mo. Nag-answer pa ko, ma'am. Okay, sige, Vincent. But at 10.15, we will start na lang the sharing and then the others, apas na lang Alright, so as I can see, daghan-daga nang naka-answer noon. Then, mag-start na lang ta. Pero ang uban, wala pa. Padayon lang yan po mag-answer kay mag-sharing man ta. Ano yun yung results. Okay. Oh, if ever say mag-score, i-input lang yan po. Okay, to those who are done, mauni ang um, base sa uh, inyohang results ng inyong nakuha. So, I will be calling few people na uh, ganahan ko mo share, ganahan ko makadungog sa inyong voice, no? <laughs> Alright, so may we call on Miss Annaline Aroha. Miss Annaline is here. Hello, is Miss Annaline Aroha is here? Yes, ma'am. Okay, for a moment, ha? Huh? Okay, nakata. a moment. Okay, going back to Miss Annaline. Nana si Miss Annaline Derry. Okay, uh, kindly share sa imong result, Miss Annaline. Where you scored high. Hello. Wala si Annalyn. Sige, another na lang. Okay, is Nikolai here? Yes, ma'am. Oh, hello, Miss Nikolai. Kindly share what are the top three you scored high. My top three is investigative, social, and enterprising. Enterprising. So, among all the three categories, as you look at the potential ng mga profession that you will be, asa may you think ganahan ka ani? Ma'am? Among all the three categories, sa katong investigative, social, and enterprising, Asa ba na nila mga nang ganahan ka, like, ganahan ka mag-abogado? Okay, under enterprising, 
pwede mag-abogado, political science, mag-work sa bank, and then investigative, mag-marine biologist, engineer, mag-chemist, medicine, psychologist, and then under social, mag-counselor, mag-nurse, physical therapy, and teacher. Fun, ma'am. Enterprising. Enterprising. So, the courses under enterprising interest you more. Am I right, Miss Nikolai? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so thank you for that. And then next, may we have Mr. Kurt Takeda is here? Is Mr. Kurt here? All right, so silent mode, si Sir Kurt. <laughs> Let's go on to Sir John Ababon. Hello, Sir John. Hello. No, ay, silent mode, git mo na ako do. <laughs> Wala si Sir John. So anyone nga ganahan mo share? Anyone? Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Okay, see, this is... Hello? Okay. Hello, ma'am. Oo, oh, sige, go. So, ang um, dako na ko, ma'am, kay ang um, social investigative o ang art, o ang kwan, ma'am. Kaning... Enterprising, ma'am. Mo siya so, ang parehan ma ako, ma'am. Then, ang, ang highest na ako, ma'am, kay artistic. Highest ni mo is artistic. So, yes, ma'am. So, bali, upat So, you are more interested to more on photography? Ang ginag mag-architect? Interior, interior design? Or any of yes, those? Interest you? Yes, ma'am. Alright. So, that's good, Mr. Mitch. So, thank you for that. So, Let's go on. We'll move on na ta kay. Thank you, ma'am. I hope magkuan mo, screenshot mo ani kay aron naamoy basis ganit sa yung results. No, and to give you more ideas po what career or possession you will took up na you think ganahan kayo mo. Alright, so going on. Programs that CPU offers. Moni ang mga programs and courses na gi-offer na mo sa CPU basin interested mo mo enroll in the college ninyo. Na? So, under College of Education, we have the following. Na? Kindly screenshot na lang because I can't recite everything one by one. Okay. And then under the College of Arts and Sciences, we also have the following. Bachelor of Science Art in English, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Kanang ganaha mag nursing in yo. Asad me dito. Mag literature. Okay. And then under College of Engineering, we have the following Civil Engineer, Computer Engineer, Electrical, like electronics industrial mechanical okay so kindly screenshot lang and then we have college of computer information and communication technology or cicct so kanang mga ganan mag it diha industrial technology major in computer technology and we also have college of management entrepreneurship so we offer courses hospital management work on hotel tourism management public administration okay public bachelor of science business ad can magana mag business ad we have that okay so you save na new mga questions later on regarding this or that seminar we will have an open forum okay under college of technology we have a bachelor of science in graphics design 
mechatronics, industrial technology. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I hope you have an idea no, nga, if ever you will go to CTU, na interest no mo in drills sa CTU, at least na may idea kung sa mga courses nga among gi-offer. So I hope naka-screenshot mo ato. So if ever sa mga wala, I will be sending a photo to your advisor kung mga yung mga prospectus. Okay, let's continue. So, according to Dole, the following are the in-demand occupations for the next 5 to 10 years. So, mauning mga profession nga gina-need sa ato ang country for the next 5 to 10 years. Under technician and associate professionals, we have the following. Bookkeeper, CAD operator, human resource assistant, interior designer, marketing assistant, massage therapist, and such. And clerks, mga call center agent, cashier, receptionist, tellers, travel agent. We have service workers and shop and market sales worker. We have bartender, chef, cook, flight attendant, merchandiser, nursing aid, sales and retail person. So I hope ma you mag screenshot mo on me kay it's very important no and I'm my idea on sa may mga job nga dili good mawala kay ginahanglan man gyud siya nato. Laborers and unskilled workers. We have bellboy, room attendant, katong uh, hotel, magdi ni sila pangani. And then baristas. Next, under professionals are the in demand. Are the following agriculturist, animator, auditor, geologist. So it's very important that you have an idea. Okay, so employers, if ever mo graduate na mo, magwan na mo college, the most important aspect that employers will look for a fresh graduates kaning naa ani nga mga following willingness to learn are they oh yes willingness to learn do they have the initiative initiative means na ba mo common sense in doing the job na ba mo ani nga quality honest ba mo na ba mo integrity in which even though wala mag tanaw are you honest in doing your job are you a self motivated person doing your job do you have the uh enough self-confidence in handling the job okay so as mentioned kanina um hr is very attractive to these qualities and then a plus point is also the exposures that you had during your academic time Okay, never stop learning, read, grow, and expand your mind. So don't pass up opportunities to learn and experience new things. So explore or engage yourself into various aspects in life. You know, feed your mind so you will have um so you have wide ideas to wide ideas on some career options that you will took. No, in the future. Uh, mabot sa point, mabot mo, makpili na mo sa yung career. You can really say that this profession is what I really love or what I really like. Okay, everyone has their own path 
in life. So don't worry too much about what other people are doing. Much more letting their opinions about your dreams and ambitions. So as mentioned, and um, the only advice that I could give you, like focus on yourself, focus on your goal, and then there may be times na makakompare ta sa ato ang achievement or progress others, but if you know to yourself that you're doing well, ra, and then even though it's it's a small progress, ra, but still it is a progress. So, ala siya, if you know your path then in the future you will really achieve the the dream that you want okay so junior high school and senior high school is partly about discovering who you are and what you want to be so at this phase i hope you already have an idea as you as your teachers fed knowledge to you uh, Unsa may mga unsa na may profession nga imuhang that you will be in the future. No? At this time, explore, especially in college. No? So do well. Okay, everyone develops, mature, and grow at their own pace. So we have different stories, we have different journeys. So as long as you know your path, your goal, then that's good. You're doing great. Okay, steps in choosing a career. First is learn about yourself. So as discussed earlier, you must know yourself, what you want and what, what you like. Learn about careers. So as early as now, dapat nag-research mo on some mga different careers nga, which you think will do what you think kanang ganahan mo na fit mo ani nga profession na. so research and then make a plan a plan how you will um, achieve the goal that you are you you've already set no like what are the things that you will do para ma teacher ko so as of now magtarong ko og skwela sa so, um, senior face and then after that mo college na ko magtarong sa ko so you do well on your academics and then in the ko ana ninyo pang apply na ninyo i can assure you that it's very attractive if nindot mo records sa inyong skoan sa inyong school all right Okay, and lastly, I would leave you with a quote that if you don't know what your passion is, realize that one reason for your existence on earth is to find it. So explore and explore and engage yourself to different aspects uh, in life because maabot regid ang time na you will really realize na Nga maoni nga path nga akong ganahan and the money profession yud nga ako ang ganahan. Alright, so thank you and I hope you learned something from our webinar. So as of now, we will be having a an open forum to you. So if you have any questions, so this is the right time to ask questions. Okay. Hello. Namoy questions, guys. Okay. Done so far. No. Uh, Ma'am, regarding any mga mga ang mga participant kara mga TVL mani sila o gas. Yes. Um, unsay mga requirements if ever mo enroll sila sa CTU. So the basics are kanang inyo katong basic requirements a good moral in your grades. Then we also have averaging sa course nga inyong kwaon so it differs to courses on say average nga ganahan but uh, i suggest aim an average of 80 to 85 because kung naamo na average sure ball that you will nakasod mo sa CTU because CTU kay free tuition ta here so mangita pud mi og mga students nga who will really kanang who will really kanang mga deserving Dili lang sayangan ang opportunity. So, we have averaging. 
Ma'am, if ever na mga TVL may sila na mo kuha sila mga board course na dili related sa ilahang senior hack track, na ba ni slide ko? Na ba ni slide bridging program? Yes, sir. Um, to those individuals nga kung ano mo, mo shift lang o ng track, no, in college, dili na siya related, na yung mga bridging program nga ginakuha. And then, it differs sa course and tracks nga ilahang they currently taking up now. So, Other is na sinabay mo yung mga pangunta na. Okay. So, this is really a good time nga pangunta mo. Okay. So, kato mga board course, sir, ma'am, 85 dito siyang average. Wala mm-hmm. sila wala sila line of seven na Yes, sir. Sa, sa, sa kwan, ma'am, sa ilang card mm-hmm. o sa ilang 27. Yes, sir. So, Hello, ma- oh, nga, sir, mga ma'am. Muna yung timanan na karon panahon na maningkamot na ta na wag itay line of seven. Muna siya mga, mga guys ha. So, na, na ay give, si asa ta na skwilahan, ma si TU man, ma si INU, ma UC, or any school, na against like requirements na grades. So, ilit na ito ni binabinoangan ato ang grado karon karon sa senior high kay na magi requirements yes and then as mentioned kanina uh, you do well on your uh, studies now and then it will really uh, have a it will open greater op- opportunities for you so if the go mo nanin mo ron tarong mo siya academics ron din college niyo maka free tuition na mo wala mo wala mo, wala mo bayaran na din instead na mo nga na and then, daghag mga yan na, no? Mao na siya ito mga timanan guys ha. Uh, kaning sa CNI, sa uh, City of CNI or uh, Government School na first come, first serve ni sila na ni sila entrance exam. So, kung magpadugay-dugay mo, uh, di gi mo maka, makasulod po na siya. Mm-mm. So, Go. Kano sa ang deadline nila ani ma'am? Um, as for now sir, wala pa gi exact date sa enrollment kay they're still on the na deciding pa lang if mag face to face na ba or online gapon but karon going on pa man ilang class had, so probably uh, So if prepare nila ma'am ang ilang grado good moral. Mm-mm. Yes. O, so if prepare na inyo mga mga guys ha na Samtang sa sayo pa, pangayo na mong good morals sa guidance office or sa kuha para dili mo maulahi kay kung madugay mo, makwa, dili mo maab, maabta mo sa slot sa sitio or sa any, any school, dili na mo makasulod. Mm-hmm. Yes. Muna itong timanan. So, dili na ba kita ang skwilahan na mo ang mo-apply sa CTU o sa CNU na uh, free education. So, pasabot ni ini na uh, katong mga gan- interesado na maka-avail sa free education, uh, ang dama na yung mga requirements daan. Yes. Mm, okay. Ma- uh- how about katong mga uh, technology Technology courses, ma'am, to mga College of Technology. That's my requirements na, na grado. Tanan course, sir, na wag yun. Diha sa, sa itong school. Kay, it's a government school and then we accommodate lots of individuals na kinahan mo study. So, mana we set standards sa ito nila. And then um I will be sending a attendance no and evaluation so I also will leave after this open forum. Napa may mga questions? Samtang na pa si Ma'am Van Karon. Nay questionary Ma'am unsa kon requirement for enrollment? 
Oh, na mention na kanina uh to basic to good moral, birth certificate and your grades. Virtual ang um, enrollment wala um still decided pa ang ato enrollment karon. Di ba mang sa una mo kwa mas la mo apply mas la through online sa um, or enrollment? Yes. Ato, the same ba gyapon ma'am? Yes, I'm not sure if the same will happen because next year we'll face to face na. So, na mam na ipangota na ng arima pila ka year year course ang automotive technology, mam. Automotive. I think that's. I'm not sure, sir. How is it? Two years. Kung kwa na siya, ma'am, ko... Kung kwa na siya, kung bachelor siya, ma'am, is four years, ma'am, no? Kung associate lang is two years, ma'am. At yun ay associate na ang CTU. Yes. Automotive technology, we have four years. Na ay culinary arts sa CTU. Wait, how was siya? I think na, ma'am, kaya na ay may kauban liha na yung transfer. Na ay full. And then we also have BS, hospital management, you know. So, sa automotive wala tayo associate, aso, okay. mm, so automotive technology, we have four year course. Yeah, four years. Mm -hmm. If ever ma'am na mo-avail sila, na na sila sa CPU, maka-avail maka ba sila o ka nang, sa nang, sa nang, sa nang, sa nang, mag-working student, na ba sila antuan? Oh, so, if ever mag-working student, sa peso mo to, sa amo ang department if nangita mo part time job. Oh. Mm -mm. Now how manay pangutan na rin ma how to be part sa working student sa city yo ma'am. How to be part? Yes ma'am. So adto lang mo dito sa peso no and then we will uh, wait I will open the then adto mo dito sa peso and then mga yung assistance ga on sa may inyo ang part-time job na ganahan either sa school ba mo mag working students so it differs nasa then kami pang... then kami rin mo refer if unsa yung mga vacancies nasa yung pangutan na rin ma'am ka LM Alcao na by Marine Corps sa CTU or na ah na ah na ah so, na sa Carmen sir na sa Carmen Carmen mm, Campus Nya, nangari pangutap pila ka years ang HRM o IT. HRM for four, uh, four years. Four years. Mm -mm, four years sila ng ha. From John Kevin Lauron, ma'am, na ba y musical courses sa CTU? I think uh, musical courses. Wala, wala mian na sir. Mawaw mas lang mga tayo, ma'am. Ako lang yung ako lang yung ilay, ma'am. Ako lang ilay yung sa ilang mga question na sa catch. Na-architecture nga course na atay, ah, architecture? Wala, but we have drafting na course sa CTU. Wala tayo architecture, but na tayo drafting nga course. Drafting tech. Na ba yung building course, ma'am, sa CTU? Welding. So mostly, no, sa ato courses kay mga industrial tech and then welding na asad niya na ito. Yes, mechatronics. Na nasa ngari na ba criminology sa CTU? I think wala. Criminology. Ah, criminology. Wala, wala mi criminology sa CTU. Napais ka Mitch, ma'am, na ba'y film editing course sa CTU? Film editing. Film editing? Wala. Wala mi, sir. We don't have. Pwede na... Ra yes, ma'am. Kang Kay, Kathy, na pwede ba mo do sa peso office run, ma'am? Need to work. work sa... Yes, pwede d'yo kayo. Pilagan ka years. Ang culinary. Lalalala. Ni Hank. 
Teka, sagaran mga rima, mag-scookery, mga rima, mga kan cookery, CSS, ang mga student. Four, Four sir. Culinary. Four years, sir. Computer science, science ma'am. Computer science. Um, and computer science, we have um, four years. Well, sa engineering, kay four years, tanan na mo ang courses, and then sa to ako ang Ano ha? Nasa kang Nikolay, ma'am. If gusto ko makuha gloon sa istran na track ang kuwaon. I think nasa yums na inday. Yums na siya. Uh, then in ang mag-glo ka. Mag-college mo, mutuk up mo, pull side. So sa computer, sa to? Computer science, we have computer technology. Sa CTU. Ma'am, pila ka, Ma'am, er er Erwin Lim, pila ka, pula pila ka years po ang years ang drafting, Ma'am? Pila ka years ang drafting? Four years. Four years ta nan, sir. Nasa kang kabor na, Ma'am, pareha mo ka plido ka. <laughs> Ma'am, about sa grades, sa grades, average magbasi or individual subject? Koan, ang kanin averaging ani, it is the total sa inyong final grades. So, dapat dagko mo score sa individual, aron dagko po mo um score sa inyong average, sa inyong total score, sa inyong grade. Singala na siya. So, nanapay kang Chara Jane Lopez na by course na photography? Photography. Mm. Sir, ha, I'm checking. Wala, sir. We don't Wala. have... Mm -mm. Yes. Nasa nga rin, na ba business ad, mamu o pila ka years? Yes, we have business ad sa city four years. Nasa ka, Miss uh, LM Alcao, Miss, since ang Marine Corps is available sa Carmen Campus, ad to po di isen ang... If ever ang basic requirements? Ad to isen ang requirements? Ang yes, basic sir. Mm -mm. Yes, sir. Kaya ad to man sila mag-enjoy. Kang Justin Sevilla, ma'am na... Ma'am, uh, makatake naman ka, uh, makatake bag interest exam? No? Yes, Nine. yes. Makagraduate. Ka James in Inok, what's a better course about computer, ma'am? IT or CLS? So, for this, no, uh, we have different opinion, man, get kung unsay the best, and then, the advice that I could give kay you research sa different kanang sa may mas dagag benefits and then sa contact they are more on hardware ang IT kay software siya so ano yun yung work on so computer technology more on mag work on mga hardwares and then IT mga software so and then research na lang sa uban if unsa yun yung tukod nila Regarding sa Dana James Inno, better know yourself more asa kahiyang, asa mm -hmm. yung passion, asa yung talent, asa yung skills. Kaya kung magganaan ka sa duha mo, narrow down mo na siya kung asa insa ka o gunsa ka. Mm -hmm. So you have to better know yourself more. Yes. Three, sa pa yung questions, three. So. Napa mo yung mga pangutana, no? Nah. Unsay okay, so work mahatag sa peso, ma'am. So, daghan ta o uh, mga... Differ, uh, it differs kung sa job vacancies nga gihatag sa mga companies. Bisan, unsa na work available or did it lose peso? So, kung sa available, then amo na ihatag ninyo kung ganahan mo ang job, and then, ano na siya. Nay, ni Chasa ko ang GC, ma'am, sa ko ang fa Facebook. Ma'am, if ever ako ang suon or uh, uh, ganahan mo patabang sa peso, pwede lang ba mo doon? Oh, pwede po kayo. Everyone is welcome sa sa to ang peso, si Tio. 
So anybody na pa mo yung mga pangutana? It's okay, last last one more question. Uh, excuse me, pila ganit ka years ang architecture? So wala tay architecture sa CTU but we have drafting. Uh, but kani siya kay yeah, four years. But So, wala, wala na may pangutana, ma'am. So, mga, mga guys, we are so lucky, we are so blessed kay ang um, peso, peso na ginidoo na to sa una, kita gimo magpa-kwan yun, magpa-schedule nila. Okay. Mm. Mga ginay problema na mga kami nasa guidance kay sa mem- member man ko sa FC GAN, ma'am, sa Dole, na asking basta magpa-schedule mi sa peso at maghan ni iskulahan. Nag- so, we're so blessed and la- lucky kay pina- sila na ginidool na to pinagi ni Ma'am RG Gisadjo kay gi chata naman ko ni Ma'am RG Gisadjo sir na ay taga peso na um, tanda ko career guide as muna we are very lucky and blessed at upakpakan si Ma'am Miss Van na nihatag yung time na to karun sa pag pag fun, sa pag gi, uh, sa pag Uh, orient and unsa gid ang job mar ang ang employment unsay unsay mga 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 in demand jobs karon mo tingyo timanaan na basing magunsay mong ganahan pero dito siya in demand job for 5 to 10 years masayang ni muhang gigasto so mm-hmm. pasalamat ni ma'am miss van kay pinagi na orient ta karon og nana mo clear clear decision ko usay ko ani mo ikini ka college yes no so thank you Paul, for the opportunity nga uh, to share and then wait lang <laughs> i will be sending no the attendance kay i will be giving you certificates so this will serve as my basis so okay na ko mo send ha Ma'am, uh, sa certificates, ma'am, mari asa may uh, kita na mag-contact, ma'am. Yes, sir. Contact na ko ni mo, sir, and then ako isend sa mong email if na-ready na na ko. Ah, sige, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. I'll be sending two forms, and the first one is the attendance form, and then the next one is the evaluation. So, announce na na to fill up tanan sa attendance, then mag-send ko another link tapos evaluation. Okay. Okay, na viewer ninyo ang link na kung gisend. Ana ana misa. Sir? Na ana sa chat ch- uh, sa chat box. Yeah. Uh, okay, sir, sige. Palig ko sa attendance mga mga guys para ma makuha na to para Oh, ka pwede raw ay contact yes but ay but ni na lang og NA if wala gid may contact number or if ever sa yung parents meron
Linda Anso, Manasik, Kyra. We still have 24 pa na answer sa at attendance. Wait us sa others. So, to those who are done, stick put lang sa mo kay mag-send ako po another link for the evaluation. So, kamay lang kit na time. So mga guys, kung maka, para makakuha mo sa, sa certificates mo, fill up mo sa attendance form at same time ang evaluation form. Doha na ang requirements mga guys sa pili ra ang attendance o evaluation form ra inyong hang kanon. na na uh, fill out. Basi na sa internet connection kay data pa man, data man ang gigamit. Thank you, sir. If ever sir mag-send na ko nimo sa link para i-share. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uba, nahurot na ang load. Sige lang kay mag-send ko link ni sir and then siya na mo send din nyo. Para maka-fill out mo. Okay. Napay nag-answer? Napay nag-fill out? Uh, ang uba na nakagaw ni, ni out na base na hot na siya sa load ah, sige ah, so yes. mag send na po sa evaluation form karon really fill out na lang <coughs> so here's the link Okay, so the other link that I sent is the evaluation form. So I need fill up na lang. So it will serve as our basis on sa may need na mga i-improve pa. To give you more, better, quality, good quality information.
Let's say, ibutang activity is career guidance webinar and then ang venue is um, Google Meet. Venue. Venue is Google Meet. <laughs> 